March Madness is officially upon us as folks fill out their brackets, make their predictions. We're thinking outside the box here, right? Before we crumple up our brackets and throw them in the trash, let's go ahead and get out front of the chaos. My good friend Dave Shoemate and I will do just that as we give you our March Madness emphasis on the madness brackets. Guys, before we get going, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Check out the podcast, which drops daily, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get it. We're on socials, X, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And, of course, guys, head over to the website, secunfiltered.com, to stay up to date with the latest from us. Also want to shout out our partners who made today's video possible, Roback, Roback.com, promo code SECU. You see I'm rocking the Roback, guys. Spring games are around the corner. The weather's heating up. It's golf season. It's baseball season, opening day, right? Whether you're around the house, running errands, you're at the tailgate, does not matter. Roback has got you, got you covered. So Roback.com, promo code SECU at checkout to get 20% off your purchase. And, of course, guys, in the spirit of March Madness, head over to mybookie.ag. Use promo code SECU at sign up to get a deposit match of up to $1,000. You want to make sure you're in on the action from props to parlays to spreads to totals, what have you. Hey, games get going Thursday. Make sure you sign up today. MyBookie.ag, promo code S-E-C. You, Dave, what's going on, my friend? Appreciate you taking the time. Obviously, you've been a busy man this week talking all things college basketball, SEC basketball. The fun gets going Thursday, man. Can't wait. No, it's it's one of the best weeks of the year, one of the, one of the best weeks of the season. I mean, we talked about it a little bit earlier. I think some people would argue the Masters week, but people aren't putting PTO in PTO days for the most part across the country for Masters weeks. From East Coast to West Coast, people are going to be off work, not leaving the house, not going on vacation, just literally posting up in their man cave, living room, wherever it may be. And it's also fun to see the SEC, man. I mean, it wasn't that long ago, 10 years ago. They're getting two to three teams, Kentucky, Florida. After that, you may throw Tennessee every now and then. You get LSU, Alabama, somebody like that. But it's fun to get eight teams in. Very deep league here. Thought you may get nine at one point, but you figure someone will falter. But eight, it's a good, good number for the SEC. Administration is starting to pour in money into that conference for basketball, great coaches. A lot of these coaches getting new deals. So it's a fun time to be following SEC basketball and just college basketball in general. And Dave, you mentioned taking PTO again back when I worked in the corporate world, way before SEC, you were in any previous ventures for me. I was certainly one to put in PTO to, like you mentioned, just sit around, throw some bets around, watch college basketball, maybe hit the bar with some buddies. Whatever it might be, that and Super Bowl Monday were the two that I really hit the hardest. But, uh, no, going to be a lot of fun. And, again, like I mentioned, this is our madness bracket. So we're going to be documenting all of our picks, of course, from March Madness every single game. By the way, guys, stay tuned to SEC Unfiltered. Both Dave and I are going to be giving you game reactions for every single SEC game in March Madness. Again, the SEC very well represented with eight teams participating. Really exciting stuff. But this – it's realistic chaos, right? So we're not going to be picking every 16 C to be the one C, but it's realistic chaos. It's madness. Like you look at last year, FAU, San Diego State. You got to think outside of the box to even have a shot mm-hmm. to get any picks in your bracket, right? So we're going to do just that. And I want to preface Dave by saying I had some assistance with my picks. My girlfriend, who knows nothing about college basketball, only knows colors and mascots and cool names. She helped me make these picks. So I can assure you. There's no preconceived biases or, hey, I know this, that, whatever. It's all about just pure chaos and randomness. So here we freaking go. And for those watching on YouTube, we're going to share the bracket on the screen. And we will start over on the east, and we're going to go straight down through the bracket. And, Dave, I'll ask you this, because we're starting with 116, UConn Stetson. Who do you got in this game? And just to get out in front of it, it's only happened twice ever do you see a 16 seed beating a one seed in this tournament? And what would you put the percentage at that it happens? We talked about this, a chaos uh, madness bracket, but also we're not going to go stupidity here. We're not going to go, sh- we're not going to go force gump stupid here. We're, we're going to, we're going to go <laughs> with the Huskies, uh, Coach Hurley and the boys getting it done against congrats to the Hatters from Stetson 22 and 12 this year. Probably had a great year, but unfortunately it's going to end in Brooklyn um, this upcoming week. Yeah, we've also got UConn as well. Good pick. All right, we're going down the list. Florida Atlantic taking on Northwestern, going with the Owls. Yeah, give me Dusty May and the boys as well. All right, the 5-12 matchup, San Diego State and UAB. This is where the first big upset start to roll in. Got the UAB Blazers, man. 12-5 games, San Diego State, a lot of good vibes. They went pretty far last year. UAB pulls the upset. 
We're going madness. We're going with Andy Kennedy and the boys again. I got the 12, first 12-5 upset we got. Like Brian Dutcher and them, but give me the Blazers. You know, Dave, there's something that feels good about picking the 12-5. It's just it's something that, like, tickles the fancy. I don't know what it is, so we'll see if it plays out. But it's just – that's like how you good, know. It's a good chip that lands next to the flag in golf. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. Uh, all right, here we go. First SEC game, Auburn taking on Yale. And we're going with the 13 seed. Yale to upset Bruce Pearl's Auburn Tigers. Where are you going? I'm going to go with the Bulldogs as well for talking madness. I'm not picking this one. Like you said, it's going to be a trendy upset pick mm. for a madness chaotic bracket. We'll go with Yale. All right, BYU and Duquesne. This is 6 11 matchup. We are going. With Duquesne. Funny story, by the way, side note, Dave. When I was a kid, I'd never heard of Duquesne. I thought it was pronounced Duquesne. I had somebody correct yeah, me very quickly. Duquesne, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. I'm going to go with Duquesne as well here, though, as, as well, Chris. All right, let's go to the 314 matchup. Illinois and Moorhead State. We're going with Moorhead State, Dave. What say you? Yeah. Again, I, this leads me back a little bit to the UConn <laughs> Stetson pick. I'm not going to go stupid. I'm going to go Illinois. I'm going to stick to Illinois here. Uh, Moorhead State no longer has Janai Broom. I'm going to stick with Illinois. If and when Moorhead State gets that W, my friend, I'm going to be shooting you a text, just FYI. 7 uh, <laughs> 10 matchup Washington State and Drake. And again, like I mentioned, Dave had help with these picks. My girlfriend, she saw the Bulldog, Bulldog mascot, and it was over for her. So we're going with the 10 seed, Drake. Pac-12 down year, Drake, I think, takes advantage. Like you said, go with the mascot, go with the Bulldogs. All right, 215 matchup, Iowa State and South Dakota State, the Roadrunners, but we're going with the Iowa State Cyclones to advance. We're not getting Will Ferrell crazy in old school, so we're sticking with <laughs> Iowa State as well. All right, let's go to the west side, North Carolina taking on either Howard or Wagner. Uh, doesn't matter. UNC will advance. Yeah, yeah give me the Tar Heels. Dave's second SEC game, and again, we're going against the SEC. I hate to do it, but Michigan State, uh, I think you made the joke, obviously. Hey, just put MSU on that next line, and you're going to get the pick right no matter what. It's a lot, but the, and nobody it's, it's a lot but, but we are going with the Spartans. I'm going to go Mississippi State here. We're gonna, hey, I think we're three for three with the Bulldogs for me. We got Yale, <laughs> we got Drake, and now we got Mississippi State. Great day to be a Bulldog, Dave Shoemate says. Great day to be a Bulldog. Uh, let's go into the 5-12 matchup, and again – We've got another 12 seed, man, beating the 5 seed, Grand Canyon, taking down yep. St. Mary's. Yep, give me the Lopes. Give me the Lopes as well, this 12 seed. You're right, two for two. Dave, let's go to four seed Alabama, taking on College of Charleston, the 13 seed. And, again, I tell you, you know, this is one we're picking all things madness. This could be a sneaky upset pick on your real bracket. Uh, but believe it or not, going with the Alabama Crimson Tide, Nate Oates and company, I think offensively they'll just be too much for CFC. Yeah, I think the committee gave Alabama a good break here, even more so than Auburn probably. But because I think it's kind of Charleston is a little bit Alabama light. I don't think I, I don't think you can go combat Alabama against Alabama. I think they'll get by this one, and then they'll have a tough one in the second round. All right, let's go. The six seed Clemson taking on the eleven seed New Mexico. And Dave, like I mentioned, my girlfriend doesn't know anything about college basketball, hasn't watched a second, but she does know we hate Clemson, so we're going with New Mexico. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Lobos as well. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Lobos as well. I can see a deep run. Like you mentioned, Jake Crane was mm -hmm. uh, putting out on social media. I can yeah. see that. They got enough bodies to throw at P.J. Hall to get them flustered. Yeah, New Mexico's sexy pick to make a deep run in the tournament for sure. Uh, Three-seed Baylor taking on the 14-seed Colgate. We are going, though, with the Baylor Bears. Yeah, I'm going to go Baylor, too. Again, let's don't get Forrest Gump, Gump stupid here. It's chaotic. It's madness. But we're not going to go get crazy on it. So let's stick with Baylor and uh, Scott Drew and the boys. All right, seven seed Dayton taking on 10 seed Nevada. We are going with the Dayton Flyers. I'm going to go with the Wolfpack here. I'm going to go Nevada beating okay. former SEC Alabama coach uh, Anthony Grant, who is the head flyer now. But we're going to go with the former fighting musclemans from Nevada. And finally, from this side of the bracket, the two-seed Arizona taking on 15-seed Long Beach State. And, Dave, like I told you, if this were a baseball series, I'm taking Long Beach State every day of the week, but this game is being played on the hardwood, so I am going to go with Arizona. Yeah, not to keep piling it on Forrest Gump. We'll go Arizona as well. <laughs> Leave Forrest out of it, man. He's had a, he's had a tough enough go at it, right? Um, anyways, going to the other side of the bracket, one-seed Houston takes on 16-seed Longwood Houston Cougars, enough said. Give me the Cougs. 
Nebraska, Texas A&M. You look at that record. Texas A&M, 20 and 14, right? Made a run in the SEC tournament. Wildly inconsistent this year. But I tell you what, Dave, Buzz Williams, they cut it on when it comes to tournament time and tournament style basketball. We're picking Texas A&M to up in Nebraska. Yeah, Kentucky went on Friday for A&M in the quarters, got them in. I'm going to take A&M as well. I think Buzz Williams is a good tournament coach in any kind of tournament, so I, I kind of like them here uh, against Nebraska. Side note, Dave, I know you did ceiling floor for Texas A&M. I have not gotten around to watching it, believe it or not, and I highly encourage folks to do so. Ceiling and floor, I have to feel like, is there a team where it's more volatile than A&M? Because they obviously have the talent to compete with the best of the best, but, I mean, I won't be surprised if they lose their first game. No, you wouldn't be surprised there from a floor. They could definitely lose to Nebraska. I mean, they got a guy, Juwan Gary, who used to play in the SEC. It could kind of throw around, big physical, kind of get some uh, scrappy blue-collar point type things for Nebraska. So they can go match A&M's physicality. But at A&M at the same time, if they can get by Nebraska, and we'll talk about it here, they have played Houston already, and they were without Tyrese Boots Bradford in that game. A lot of familiarity. Texas A&M is not going to be intimidated by Houston. If I'm Houston and I'm Kelvin Sampson, I'm not exactly fired up to play to, to see Texas A&M as the nine seed in my bracket as a potential second round game. All right, let's keep it going down the bracket. Five seed Wisconsin takes on 12 seed James Madison. Both the 12 5 matchups, we've picked the 12 seed. We're actually going to go with Wisconsin in this ball game, though. I'm going to go three for three here, Chris. We're going to go with the Dukes. Give me James Madison. Something about the 12 5, baby. 12, Something five. about the 12 Give me 5. Do it across the board. Uh, <laughs> Four seed Duke taking on 13 seed Vermont. I, I tell you this, Dave, this just feels like a classic situation where Duke falls. We are going to go with Duke, though, but I will not be stunned. I mean, you it's just, it? it feels like every other year Duke's losing a game like this. This one's one of those I think that people are kind of convincing themselves to get into, similar to the Auburn uh, Yale game, mm -hmm. uh, where you're realistically picking your bracket. We're not doing a madness chaos bracket, but hey, it's chaos. I'm going to. Not necessarily for this pick. We'll get further down the line, but I'm going to stick with Duke here. Not going to get too crazy. Texas Tech and NC State. This is a 6-11 matchup. And again, Dave, I think my girlfriend just looks at it as if you have a dog or any sort of animal as a mascot, you're probably getting picked. That's the case. We're going with North Carolina State. Dude, I mean, North Carolina State had to win the ACC tournament to get in. They did. There's usually an 11 seed that gets hot in this tournament. I feel like going back the last three or four years, why not NC State? Let's keep the train rolling. Three seed Kentucky takes on 14 seed Oakland. Going with the Kentucky Wildcats to move on. Yeah, Oakland's got one of the better three-point shooters in the tournament. But again, I, Kentucky's too athletic, too powerful offensively. Give me Kentucky as well. Seven seed Florida taking on the winner of Boise State, Colorado. Does not matter. The Florida Gators will advance. I'm going to go Florida as well. Boise State, interesting. Uh, probably they shouldn't be playing a play-in game, but is what it is. I, not getting cra too crazy there. I think my 12 fives is kind of made up a little bit for the first round realistic chaos. So I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to stick with Florida. Marquette and Western Kentucky, the 215 game. We are going with Marquette, though. Marquette too much. Don't get too crazy, man. We'll stick with Marquette. <laughs> All right, to the Midwest, one seed Purdue taking on either Montana State or Grambling. Does not matter. Purdue is going to get the dub. Let's go Purdue. Utah State, TCU, that's an 8-9 game. Utah State, moving on. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm going to go with the lower seed. I'm going to go with the Frogs. I'm going to go with the like Frogs, it. Jamie Dixon and the boys. Here we go again. 5 seed Gonzaga, 12 seed McNeese. Dave, we're going 3 for 4. We're taking McNeese to take down Gonzaga. I'm going 4 for 4, baby. We're going for the fight more Wades, <laughs> and, the fight more Wades and the boys. Will, Will Wade. 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 I almost forgot he's the head coach, too. My he's goodness. He's knocking out uh, Mark Few and the boys. I, I'm with you. I think, McNeese, I think the Cowboys get their, get the first-round win. All right, four-seed Kansas taking on 13-seed Sanford. I've heard folks talking about this game all week as a sexy upset pick. We're going with Kansas, though. Yeah, something tells me that – Bill Self and them, I don't think they're just going to let a publicity everybody kind of make, yeah, they're going to lose to Sanford. I know they roll a bunch of guys deep. I'm with you. We're going to realistic chaos here. At this point, I kind of feel like it's an upset. Let's go Kansas. I'm with you. Six seed South Carolina taking on 11 seed Oregon. And again, Dave, I think the way this pick was made is that a duck is cuter than a chicken. So we're going with the Oregon Ducks, an upset, if you will, 11 over a six. Hey, I'm going to go with the South Carolina Gamecocks here, baby. I love that. I love that. Uh, and I was not thrilled with the pick, by the way. Uh, Three-seed Creighton taking on 14-seed Akron. 
believe it or not, Dave, we are going with the Akron Zips to going be the zips. great to move on. Going with the Zips. Oh, I'm going to go with Creighton. Just too All much right. offensive firepower, Showerman and Cal Renner. Seven seed Texas taking on Virginia, Colorado State winner. The 10 seed does not matter. We are taking the Texas Longhorns. And I'd, I'd also like to add, by the way, Dave, I don't trust Texas as far as I can throw them in my own bracket, but we're going with Texas here. I was looking at one of their shot selections earlier. It, it, it's not pretty to look at. It would make uh, some painters really upset. But here, you know, I'm, I'm going to go Colorado State winning the 10, winning the playing game, getting a little hot, and moving into that second round. We go with the Rams. I like it. And then finally, Dave, Tennessee, the two seed, taking on St. Peter's, the 15. I know Tennessee had a really demoralizing exit out of the SEC tournament. Does not matter. Dalton Connect's going to be Dalton Connect. Tennessee will be advancing. Yeah, this is go Tennessee. This isn't your grandma, St. Peter's, from two years ago. It beat Kentucky in the same 215 matchup. So give me Tennessee. All right, so Dave, we're going to try to piece this thing together because I realized while doing this that these little guys right here aren't getting filled out. I have them on my phone, though. So the matchup we have, you uh, and most of our picks, I would say, are, are pretty similar. So um, just correct me if anywhere, obviously, you got a different pick. Whatever. We'll make this thing work. One seed UConn. This will be in the round of 32. One seed UConn, eight seed FAU. We do have UConn advancing. Give me UConn. Not getting too crazy again over FAU. All right. So 12 seed UAB and 13 seed Yale. And once again, Dave, we are going with Yale to advance. Give me the Blazers, baby. UAB. Go, Blazers. <laughs> All right, Duquesne and Moorhead State. Again, this is 11-14 matchup in the round of 32. We are going with Duquesne. And a, there we go. There he is. I'm going to go um, – I'm going to go – I'm going to go – I'm going to go ba- – mm. let's go more. Well, I'll agree with you, Moorhead State. Two-seed Iowa State and 10-seed Drake. We're going to go Iowa State. Iowa State. I like Iowa State, too. This again, the best team you could never name a name. couldn't name a player on their team. One-seed North Carolina taking on nine-seed Michigan State. We're going to go UNC here. See, I took Mississippi State over Michigan State here. So give me Mich- Mississippi State, Tolu Smith and the boys hanging with Amondo Baycott. Mississippi State, Chris Jans heading to the Sweet 16. All right, let's go to our next matchup. Four seed Alabama taking on 12 seed Grand Canyon. The Alabama Crimson Tide advance. Yeah, I think Bama's going to get over the lopes there. Sets up an SEC, SEC matchup at the Staples Center, Mississippi State, Alabama. And Dave, here's what we're going to do, by the way. We're going to call a quick audible for all those tuned in because I know that was really difficult to keep up with. I'm actually going to share the bracket, which is what I should have done before. So this is the bracket that I have filled out. You guys will now be able to see on the screen. Boom. We're going to zoom in there so you guys have the pick. So Dave, maybe it's going to make it a little bit easier on you. I do apologize for that. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Just, you know, you know, it's funny. I didn't think I, I wanted the chaos and the madness to be uh to beat an all-time high. So I didn't think after the first round. So we're actually going to be able to go through now. And I don't know why ESPN has got like a zillion things pulled up. Here we go. Okay. So now you're seeing where we are. And we just talked. Yes. Bama Grand Canyon. Okay. So go down the list. Now you can see these picks. Now you can see these games, Dave, and everybody else tuned in. Yeah. Hopefully this makes it easier. Because I thought about it. I was like, all right, well, this makes sense for the first round. But now – where are all the games in the matchup? So now you see. It's chaos you guys, and madness. You, you guys That's will it. see all of my chaos and madness beforehand, but that's okay. We're going to talk through this thing. Uh, Baylor, New Mexico, you see we are taking Baylor to move on. I'm going to go – we're going crazy. I'm going to go with the Lobos. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the craziness already happening. Two-seed Arizona. Seven-seed Dayton. Arizona. Dayton Flyers. Yeah. I would go Arizona. Arizona. Again, realistic, go. controlled chaos. Yeah. Controlled chaos. Indeed. Indeed. Um, as we go to oh, – we move fast there. To the other side of the bracket. Houston, Texas A&M. So we are going Houston here to move on. Call me crazy, Chris. Rematch A&M? with their second best player in this game. It didn't play in Houston earlier at the Toyota Center back in December. Tough matchup for Houston. A&M's not going to be intimidated. Give me bo- buzz in the boys. It's our chaos bracket. The Aggies advance into the Sweet 16. I love that. I love that. Uh, five seed Wisconsin, four seed Duke. We do have the Duke Blue Devils advancing to the Sweet 16. 
So here I had James Madison beat Wisconsin, but I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to follow your lead, though, the next one. I think Duke would beat James Madison in the next round as well. Either way, Dukey's getting to the Sweet 16. Perfect. Uh, three seed Kentucky, 11 seed NC State. We got the Kentucky Wildcats moving on. We're going to go crazy. We're going to go NC State. It's a chaos bracket. We're going to go the Wolf Packs. Hot in the ACC tournament. They're the 11 seed. It's feeling it. That's two in a row in the tournament. How many games in total would that be? I think six or seven wins mm -hmm. in a row for them. Hey, it's all about when you get hot. And honestly, man, with Kentucky struggles this year and inconsistencies, I mean, would it really be that crazy? I don't know if – I don't know. I, I don't know if it'd be that crazy. Uh, the seven-seed Florida taking on 2 C Marquette. We got the Florida Gators, man, setting up a Kentucky-Florida rematch. I do, especially with the Collett kid out. Uh, potentially being with that oblique injury for Marquette, they're a better player. I, I, I like Florida. Florida's a tough matchup as long as they're not turning the, fo the football, turn over the basketball. Uh, <laughs> I like Florida to advance here as well. All right, let's move on to Purdue-Utah State. This is a 1-8 matchup. Got the Purdue Boilermakers. No drama here. No drama. Let's go Purdue. I think Purdue's almost a pencil in the Elite Eight. All right, Kansas and McNeese. This is a 4-12. Again, we're spoiling it here with it on the screen, but four seed Kansas. Moving on, they take care of McNeese. Will Wade, baby. He's back. To Will Wade two. again. Back. Okay. NIL be damned. He was ahead of his time. He would not have been fired for what he does now. He takes it out of the 2024 uh, NCAA tournament bracket. He is advancing to the Sweet 16. <laughs> Will Wade back and better than ever. Love it. Uh, 14 seed Akron, 11 seed Oregon. We got the Akron Zips moving forward to the Sweet 16. Dave, your thoughts? Some people in your neck of the woods will be fired. So, me and you went different here. You went South, uh, you went Oregon over South Carolina. I took the Gamecocks. And then you went Akron over Creighton. I took the Blue Jays. So, I have a South Carolina-Creighton matchup. Hey, what, what South Carolina does travels. Creighton shoots a lot of threes. South Carolina is going to get a bunch of dirty uh, rebounds, play physical, muck it up. They had enough bodies to throw at Cal Brenner, I think, down there. Give me South Carolina in the upset. A sweet 6-10 appearance at minimum for Lamont Paris' squad. What a story that would be. Uh, finally, in the round of 32, 2 C Tennessee, 7 C Texas. We're going to hook them. This is an SEC matchup next year. The Longhorns up in Tennessee. And the ball suffer an early, uh, early tournament exit yet again. I had Colorado State beating Virginia in that play-in game, and then beating Texas. So I got the Tennessee okay. State Ram matchup, but I have Tennessee winning this game, yeah. advancing into the Sweet Sixteen. All right, so let's get into the Sweet Sixteen. Things really starting to heat up. UConn and Yale, a one thirteen matchup. Okay, okay, Yale, your run was nice, but we are going with the UConn Huskies. So, so here I had I had UAB uh, no I had UConn advancing past UAB here so I had UConn UConn facing Iowa State so this wasn't a too crazy of a bracket here mm -hmm. I actually had UConn Iowa State here for crazy purposes we'll go Iowa State getting the win in essentially UConn's backyard at the Boston Garden so we're gonna go with the Cyclones again the best team you can't name a player on <laughs> is gonna be heading to Phoenix for the Final Four. And, and Dave, you see our madness bracket again. This is true madness because we've got 11 seed Duquesne going to the Elite Eight and upending Iowa State. Pure craziness to take on UConn. So, so you have Duquesne in the Final Four. I have Iowa State. Yes, yes, Perfect. we do. That's out of the East. Yes. So, or actually, we have UConn. We do have UConn beating Duquesne in that Elite Eight matchup in the Final so Four. So I have Iowa State in the Final Four out of the okay. East. You have UConn. Okay, yeah, so we have UConn. And we'll go through the rest of the brackets this way, by the way. We'll just go through Sweet 16 Elite Eight get to our Final Four. So we've got one seed North Carolina beating the four seed Bama. So that's the that's the interesting thing, Dave. You and I talked about this off air, is that as crazy as my girlfriend went with a lot of these picks early, you're going to notice the one seed, the creme de la creme, are still going to end up there, which is kind of funny. But uh, one seed North Carolina beating four seed Bama. Uh, and on the other side, three or seven seed Dayton beating three seed Baylor, one seed UNC beating Dayton to get to the final four. And then I had the SEC. SEC, I mean, it couldn't put in a better backdrop than the Staples Center. You have know, the, the rivalry, the Alabama Mississippi State rivalry, make people forget about the Celtics Lakers <laughs> matchups that happened there in the Staples Center. But Alabama's beat them twice. It's madness. I don't think you're going to beat a solid team three times in the same season. 
give me Josh Hubbard, Tolu Smith, Chris Jans heading to the Elite Eight. And then the other matchup down there, I had New Mexico versus Arizona. That'll be a dang near Arizona home game. I know New Mexico isn't far either, but Arizona winning that, getting the Elite Eight to face um, Mississippi State. Mississippi State's run comes to an end there. I have um, I have Coach uh, – I, I'm sorry, I have Arizona and the Wildcats advancing to Phoenix. Damn near final home, final four. All right, so let's go to the south. We've got Houston taking down Texas A&M to advance to the Elite Eight where they will face the four-seed Duke Blue Devils. Duke takes down Houston to advance to the Elite Eight on the other side. Kentucky beats Florida. It's a Duke-Kentucky showdown, which would be an all-time classic, of course. And Duke beats the Kentucky Wildcats to advance to the Final Four. This was going to be the crazier one here. So I had my A and M beating Houston in this south in the South region. So I have A and M in the Sweet Sixteen playing Duke. I think Duke's going to get the win there. And then down below, going further, I had Kentucky losing to NC State. So I had I had Florida beating Marquette. So I have Florida NC State. I have Florida over NC State in that Sweet Sixteen, which gets us to the Elite Eight of Florida versus Duke. Give me the Gators. Give me the Gators. It's going to get wild. I feel like you're giving the SEC a lot more love than I am, which, or at least than we are, I should say. But uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I do love it, though. I do love it. I would love to see it as well. Um, okay, so we've got one seed Purdue beating four seed Kansas. This in the Sweet 16. On the other side, Texas beating Akron. Purdue, Texas in the Elite Eight. And yes, the Purdue Boilermaker. So as much as there's chaos, Dave. We actually have it playing out somewhat chalk for our final four to be UConn, North Carolina, Duke, and Purdue. I mean, I don't think – I think that's pretty much what folks would expect if that were to happen. So, going down for me, Midwest, I had McNeese State playing Purdue in the Sweet 16. So, give me Purdue. I think McNeese State, Will Wade, hell of a run. Probably just turn that into another job. <laughs> I was going to say, Will Wade going to do it again? Is he going to beat Purdue as well? Yeah, I mean, he might as well just go get on the – not even join the team playing after that. Might as well get ready for the next <laughs> job after he did, for going to the Sweet 16. No one's going to hold it against him losing to Purdue. But they're going to lose to Purdue. Purdue to the Elite Eight. I think you can – that's almost like a guarantee. I feel really good about that. Then I have Tennessee versus uh, South Carolina here. Another SEC on SEC rematch. Give me the Vols. So we're going to go – Tennessee, Purdue in the Elite Eight. Give me Tennessee in the Final Four. Okay, so what? So what's your Final Four? So, so my got, final, so yeah, my what's final your, four, what's your? Iowa, it's Iowa State out of the East, Arizona out of the West. Um, who I, I had Florida, Tennessee, Florida, in the other side, right? It, it the first, well, one of the wow. semifinals games, Tennessee, Florida, baby. Tennessee, Florida in the Final Four. What a matchup! We know about the rivalry, obviously, on the football field. I mean, my goodness, you talk about stoking the flames of that rivalry on the hardwood. Uh, so what you guys can see, in, in our bracket, we got North Carolina beating UConn, Purdue beating Duke. So again, after all that madness and chaos, Dave, we've still got a one versus a one and the North Carolina Tar Heels beating Purdue. So it's kind of interesting how the bracket we did, this madness-chaos bracket, a lot of chaos early, a lot of chaos a lot of upsets, a couple Cinderella runners, but at the end of the day, we've got it playing out pretty much chalk, which I think terrifies me. And then mine, I mean, I'm with you too. I'm not too far. You got a couple one seeds, but you have three ones. I have three twos because I have Iowa State, Arizona, and Tennessee. And the Florida twos, Pitt. the twos are very good in this year's. Yeah, they're very, they're kind very of sexy picks. And then I got the seven seed Florida coming in that I think was a little underseeded coming in. I think Kentucky. I think you can make an argument Kentucky maybe a little overseeded at three and Florida a little underseated at four at seven uh, at Friday the SEC. But the semifinals, let's go Tennessee. I think Florida's going to be worn out at that point. They had a lot of late games, deep runs in the SEC tournament missing Michael Handel got now I think their time would run out so I'm gonna go Tennessee winning that semifinal game and again the team the best team no one can name a player on the Cyclones advance again my national championship Iowa State versus Tennessee national champion your Iowa State Cyclones and no one will be able to remember and tell you a kid on that team's <laughs> name and they that trophy. so Iowa State takes down Tennessee for the national championship wow 
Tennessee making a run to the title. You think Vol fans would consider that a successful season for for Rick Barnes? Why? Probably find some reason to get mad at Rick Barnes. Well, I mean, I just know they're, they. It feels like it's death taxes and Tennessee losing early in the NCAA. Tournament. And I like the. Maybe. I'll be honest with you. My 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 in laws are big Tennessee people, and I and that's where I am right now. I actually drank out of a Tennessee mug this or Tennessee coffee cup this morning. <laughs> uh, but my thing that kills me was I, I think I feel very good about their run here. I think they're gonna they'll obviously beat St. Peter's. I think, and then. I mean, God, if they were to get Virginia, you know how big of a mismatch of Tennessee versus Virginia? That's like ten, that's like Tennessee light. I was talking about Charleston, Alabama. I mean, Virginia, no. I, I think either way, I think Tennessee, I would be shocked if Tennessee was not in the Sweet 16. I actually have a bet with my father-in-law, but he, he was ready to fire Rick Barnes after Friday's debacle. <laughs> Dave Shoemate, Mach 10 Sports. There you have it, guys. Our chaos, our madness bracket. When it comes to March Madness, though, I mean, I don't know if you can think mad enough Final thing, Dave, before I get you out of here, I'll ask you this. And this just randomly came to my head. Do you think ever in the history of, let's just say our lifetimes, will there be a perfect bracket selected? There's no way, right? I mean, what Warren Buffett does that thing, whether he's offering people like a million dollars, whatever, maybe maybe I have the, the dollar amount wrong, but it's something uh, incredible. I mean, do, even if you pick the first round right, that'd be yeah. unbelievable. With as many, I mean, especially if you're going with. I mean, Arkansas, think about it, man. It's it's like hitting a 32 team parlay, which is literally like you could bet. It'd, it'd be like five dollars to win like two hundred thousand dollars. Like that's how unlikely you are to hit it. Yeah, I mean, unless so, unless somehow, uh, what's his name, uh, Marty from Back to the Future comes back with the sports almanac. I don't know how anybody's ever gonna. Or Marty McFly comes back with yeah. the sports almanac. I don't know how anybody's gonna pick a perfect bracket. Well, Dave, best of luck to you and your picks. Best of luck to us as well. We'll see what happens. And all you guys out there, do with these picks what you will. You can use them. You can throw them in the trash. Either way, hey, we're just spitballing and kind of guessing like you guys are. So Yeah, it was a fun enjoy, exercise. Yeah, it is a fun exercise, no doubt. Guys, enjoy the first couple days of March Madness. Again, like I said, Dave and I are really excited to bring you all the coverage. We'll be giving you full-on reactions to all of the SEC games. Dave, we got four on Thursday, four on Friday. I'm assuming we'll have many more after that as well, so going to be a lot of fun. Again, guys, it's all right here. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit the bell icon as well so you do get notifications when we go live, when we drop that video content. You want to make sure you're in the know. Also, guys, the podcast, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, you can hear us daily there. X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, where you can check out all our content, wherever you get your content. We're going to be there. And, of course, our website, secunfiltered.com. Dot com. Dave, any closing remarks before we get into the madness that is March Madness? Should be a good one. Again, just kind of proud of the league getting the eight. Again, I mentioned at the beginning 10 years ago, never thought this, but props to the administrations from the SEC uh, hiring all these great coaches. Again, I think it's administrations win championships, not necessarily coaches. Everybody's got to be on board. So it's fun time for the SEC, fun time for college basketball. I had the college basketball transfer portals opening up today. So that'll be another interesting time. But, again, I'm fired up for it starting tonight. Eight SEC teams looking to make a run. How many will advance? We shall see. For Dave Schumann of Mach 10 Sports, I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll catch you on the other side.